I want to be walking, I want to do this. I'm walking about. Have a look over there, look. The mic's still on. Forget that, it's crap. Have a look over here. Not a lot there either. Have a walk back in the middle. See, still got audio. I'm not, I'm not tripping up over wires. How good's this? Loving it. Kia ora, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Just driven up to Auckland to drop my son off. He's picked up a new car today and uh, he's as happy as Laddie. He's having a play about in Auckland with his mates and then uh, we're going to meet up on the road down towards home base. So, I've got a clear afternoon and a morning actually. We just pulled up at somewhere called Wairiri Falls in the Kaimai Ranges. Never been here before, no idea what to expect. Buzzing, can't wait. So I'm going to go for a bit of a hike. It's around about maybe a 45 minute hike, I think I was told. We're going to take a few photographs once we're there. So all we're going to take on this little hike is the incredible Bronica ETRSI, waist level finder, one 120 film back, preloaded with Kodak Ektar 100. Taking about seven shots already on this. Around about eight frames left on this roll of film. One thing I want to do for the channel is make it sound a little bit more professional. Bought myself a Rode Wireless Go Kit. A transmitter and a receiver on the camera over there. All the videos that I've watched, and I've watched quite a lot of videos on YouTube about this kit. In theory, you should now be listening to something that sounds crisp, beautiful, seamless, bassy, toneful, full of energy and vigor, and, and with, a, with a serious American accent. Don't know if it's gonna work, but hey. So we're just going over this bridge and it's, oh, this is, wow, I'm buzzing. I've not walked for two and a half, three weeks because of my, my bung knees. My God, I'm back. I'm back with a vengeance. Oh, stunning, absolutely stunning. Couldn't have picked a better day for this. This is actually a pretty cool walk. A lot of fallen boulders and it's pretty cool actually. Well marked track, well impressed. The downside, of course, is that you forever walking ten, 10 paces forward, 10 paces back to pick up the bleeding vlogging camera. Now I think, I think I made a bit of a mistake actually. Running back, getting the vlogging camera, setting up for another shot, like you do. I think I missed the turn off for the lower viewpoint. And if that's the case, I'll just keep pushing on to the top viewpoint. I love being out in the bush. Whew. Back on another bridge. Beautiful. I love these mountain streams. <sighs> Fuck, drink, drink, drink. <sighs> the fat boy is a little bit out of shape. I mean, energy wise, I'm obviously out of shape body wise. One of the purposes behind this, this trek is to test out the road wireless go. Now maybe 20 meters, or I was 20 meters away from the, the camera, hopefully it's picked up the audio. There's obviously a little bit of background noise, a little bit of wind in the trees, crashing water going over the rocks and an old man puffing and panting like a good one. The other thing I noticed about the, the new mic, I took it straight out of the box, there's maybe half a charge on both batteries, and apparently a full battery gives you seven hours of audio. I'm not gonna use that, so half a battery, half a battery in 30, gives me three, three hours or so, three and a half hours, more than enough. Just talking to a couple of trampers on the way back down, I didn't pass the low viewpoint. I've not even reached the bloody thing yet. Hell's bells, how many steps? Shit. Uh, the one thing I've noticed, which I was hoping for, is the ease of use. Literally took it out of the box, did nothing to it. 
plug it into the Canon M50 and got audio straight away. How crisp and clean that audio is. When I get back to the computer, that will be the test. The kit does come with a couple of uh, dead cat things, uh, but I've not put them on for the simple reason I don't want to lose the bloody things. And I've got a feeling they could be easily lost. That's why Riri falls in the Kaimai Range, North Island, New Zealand. And it's gorgeous. With my photographer's head on, I'm thinking there's not much of a shot from this position. You could, we could use the trees as a vignette and give you just a little glimpse of the falls, which is pretty cool. Still too, too early in the day to get this shot actually. I think if we're gonna get this shot, it'll be on the way back down. A little bit more golden light. I can see that would make quite a nice shot, but not yet. We're gonna push on, I'm gonna have a drink first, I'm parched. And then we're gonna push on. I don't even think I'm at the lower lookout yet. I haven't, I ain't got a clue. I have no idea. Just keep marching, eh? To keep, keep going till I can't go any further. Back to the mic again. I'm loving it. I've tried mic lavaliers, wire, wired ones. You know, three, three and four meter wires. Pain in the ass, because I'm always tripping myself up and tangling myself up. Not really suitable for, for the sort of vlogging I do, the sort of treks I do. I want to be walking, I want to do this. I'm walking about. Have a look over there, look. The mic's still on. Forget that, it's crap. Have a look over here. Not a lot there either. Have a walk back in the middle. See, still got audio. And I'm, not tra I'm not tripping up over wires. How good's this? Loving it. Sounds a little bit tinny on the back of the camera, a little bit, a little bit distorted on the back of the camera, but it always does, I guess. What I need to do is really judge it. I want to get back on the computer and see how it performs. But at the minute, at the minute, I'm feeling quite confident with it. I really am. They say it's 45 minutes up and 45 minutes back down. Is it? No. 45 hours. It's, it's three hours up, effectively, from the car park and three hours back down. I, can't, I wish I could add up. I really do. But... When you think about it, by the time I've kind of walked up, vlogged, run back for the camera, carried on, run back down, get up the camera, shit, I bet I've done this twice. Uh, but I'll tell you what, the good thing about this mic again, is that I'm not having to stop Unroll the cable, plug it into the camera, roll it out to where I am, trying to get it tangled. Roll it back in, put it back in the bag, off again, and there, there, there. This is revolutionising my bloody workflow. Oh. Anyway, listen. Let's keep marching, guys, keep marching. And because numbers are not really my forte, I've only just worked out, it's taken ages, but I've just worked out that 245s is 90, which is an hour and a half. So an hour and a half up, an hour and a half down. Why did I not get that first time? Football, 45 minutes and a half. Shit, my arm thick. Just testing again. I'm about maybe, maybe 15, 20 meters away from the camera. Hopefully it's picking up the, uh, the audio. I'm a little bit out of breath. I bet it sounds like I'm a lot out of breath, actually. But I think I'm getting my second wind. I just hope I've got a third, fourth, fifth, and frigging sixth. I think I'm gonna need them. Now, it looks like we're coming to the end of the track. I'm heading down the stream, and I'm guessing the falls are gonna be down there. It looks quite breezy down there. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna get, photograph-wise. I just don't know if I'm going to see the falls or do you stand at the top of the falls looking down? And this, guys, is about as far as we go. Mike's blowing a holy up here. 
Jesus. It is blowing a gale up here. My God, that is stunning. Oh, and we've got a block here. God, woo, stunning. This is spectacular. You can't see, you can't see the full drop of the falls. You can see it going over the edge. Not a great deal of water flow because we've had it, it's been quite dry of late. And wouldn't you know it, I was just, just going to the bag to have a look for the uh, the furry cat device thing, dead cat, whatever they call it, to uh, to counter some of this wind noise down here. But uh, I left it in the van. Brilliant. Good work, Polly. So what I've tried to do is try to try to shield the shield the microphone with my hands, and hopefully that uh, that counters some of the wind noise. It's quite uh, quite breezy down there. It's wide open. And absolutely stunning. Not so bad here, he says, and then the wind starts up. Right, so the reason I'm here, like we said, I'm here to test my knees, which have held up superbly so far. Thank you, Tracy. Wind, wind, wind. Uh, thank you, Tracy, for the uh, acupuncture. I'm here to test the, the Rode Wireless Go, and so far, I'm liking it, so far so good. And I'm also here to get a couple of photographs. Now it's, it's crap, the light is shocking. It's harsh light, it's quarter to six. Still got another two or three hours of sunlight. So photography wise, it's gonna be pretty pants, harsh light, not a lot to get. I think I'm gonna flag this for a shot, walk back along the stream a little bit, and then we'll head down to the viewing platform Further down the further down the way there, we'll get that shot that opens out and we'll use it as a as a bit of a vignette. Th this is amazing, it's absolutely glorious. Another thing I should have done, I don't know if I would dare, but another thing I could have done, I could have brought the drone. Flown the drone out there, looking back at the falls, that would have been stunning. But this wind out, out here, I think it, I think the drone would have struggled to be fair. Anyway, beautiful. So I reckon that's the top of the falls done, dusted. Very impressive. Scary. Don't slip, don't slip, don't slip. I reckon this will do. That's actually quite a nice shot. Set up the Bronica. Wide angle lens on. I'm gonna use these, these rocks, these paves, these slabs in the foreground, F11, F16. Try and get a slowish shot speed just to get some movement in the water there. And I think that will make quite a pleasing little shot. It'd be nice to get out there a little bit further, but Jesus, if I slip, slide on my big fat ass all the way over the falls. I'm not entirely sure how far a drop it is. All sorted? <laughs> Catch you there, guys. So, I'm halfway back down. And I'm back to the viewing platform. The light, the light is better than earlier. It's a little bit lower in the sky. A little bit more detail in there, not as blown out. It's worth a shot. It's not gonna be a keeper, I don't think. Oh, who knows? We take a little spot reading. F11 at the 30th of a second, ISO 100. And then we're gonna head back down the trail. Oh, it don't look bad actually. A little bit of a rainbow forming as well. Hopefully that will uh, translate onto film. I'm not overly sure about this shot, to be fair. And that, guys, is that. I'm absolutely shattered. I, I, I just can't speak highly enough of this little microphone. 
I'm, I'm really impressed. I hope it sounds okay on the computer when I get it back to the computer because the ease of use, I mean, it's called the Wireless Go because it's wireless and you just put it on and you go. I mean, I took it out of the box and I've done nothing with it, literally nothing with it. I've just dropped the decibel counter down on the M50 a little bit to the first notch, apparently. Uh, apparently that's the thing to do. I've not brought the wind sock, the wind muff with me, which was a silly thing to do. So I hope, I just hope it's worked. I mean, it's, if it's not worked this time, I'll stick with it because I think this thing is going to change the way I make vlogs. I really do. If anybody's out there thinking about getting this little setup, stop thinking and just, just wireless go. Just go get it. All right, guys, from New Zealand, Kakiteano. Last time, guys, last time today. So I'm about maybe 40 meters, 30. I don't know how to measure it. I'm about 30 meters away from the camera. I can't even see the camera. So if, if I can't see the camera, it can't see me. And do the walk back for the last time. For the last time today. My God, I am sick to death today of turning around and walking back to this bloody camera. Got it. End of. Four days later. I'm just putting the finishing touches to the video. And I've got to admit, for a first time user, I'm very impressed. The first conclusion is that this little microphone setup, it's an essential item for me. The sort of vlogging I do, the videos I create where I'm out and about and walking the hills and walking the beaches and out, out in the back blocks and just away from the camera but still managing to get audio back to the camera, it's absolutely priceless. I love it to bits. The second conclusion I've come to is that unfortunately I'm never going to sound like Jevon Dovey, Peter McKinnon or anybody that basically sounds really good. My accent, it's just not happening for me to be honest. No microphone, no editing software is going to make me sound good. Just like lockdowns, taxes, political turmoil and death. It's just a fact of life. Learnings, I mean, I'm, I'm sat here in the van. I've got both doors open, the side door and the back door. There's a little bit of a breeze blowing through. It's a bit of a wind tunnel in here and I'm still getting clean audio. I'm, I've got the wind muff on and I'm thinking, you know, and it, it does make a difference. So in future, I'll try and keep this attached. First attempt, very, very, very impressed. It's just, it's honestly, just go out and get this system. It is fantastic. Can't speak highly enough of it. Till next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers.